Hey everyone, so today we're going to calculate variance on stock returns. So just like we did in our last video, we're just pulling our data from Quando and we've outputted a new data frame that we've called pivoted. So what is variance? Well, variance is a measure of dispersion and that is a dispersion around some expected value. That expected value can be the mean or average of a whole bunch of observed values. These observed values, they can be stock prices, they can be stock returns. What we're going to look at today is we're going to look at the natural log of the daily stock returns. So we're going to say AAPL is equal to, and we're going to take our original data frame pivoted. And first, we're going to just look at the Apple call, like so. There we go. Now we have the stock prices of this, this Apple call. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply the percent change function on top of this. So, so. so there we go. We've calculated daily returns on these daily stock prices. Now we would like to calculate the natural log of these daily stock, stock returns. So to do that, we're going to say dot apply APLY. And what I'm doing here is for each value in here, I'm going to apply a function. So I'm going to say dot apply lambda x, and I'm going to say numpy mp dot log one plus x. And so again, what I'm doing is for each value of x, I'm applying this function. I'll find a natural log of this daily return. So I'll run that. And there we go, we have the natural log of these daily returns. So I'm gonna say dot head here. So now let's dive in and try to understand what is variance. And so let's look at these parentheses here. So what is going on here? What we're doing is just we're taking for each value in this observed data series, we're finding the deviation from the average or the mean. So what we need to do now is we need to calculate the mean. So we're gonna say mean APL is equal to um, APL. And if you remember from your statistical courses, to find the average or the mean of something, you just take the sum of all the observed values, the sum of all these values, divided by the number or the count of all those observed values. So we're going to say APL dot count. So I'll put that, APL. There we go. We have the average of the mean of all these observed daily stock, natural logs of these daily stock returns. So we have X bar here. So now what we need to do is we need to say SQD of the AAPL. And what, what is SQD? That's some, that's the square deviations. And you may ask, why are we squaring these deviations? Well, we're squaring them is because if, if we don't, you'll find that if you just add up all the deviations, both positive and negative, you'll have a value of zero. We don't want that. What we like to do is we like to preserve the deviation. And to do that, we have to square it. So we actually preserve both the positive and negative deviations. So we're going to say SQD of Apple is equal to, and we're going to take our original data series, AAPL, and we're going to apply a function to it, like so. We're going to say lambda x, and we're going to say x. For each value of x, we're going to subtract it from the mean of Apple, which we just let calculated here. What we're going to do is we're going to put this in the parentheses and, and square it, like so. So that's the square deviations of Apple. There we go. We have the square deviations of Apple. We have this term right here. So now what is sigma saying? This is saying we're sum summing this. So the summation sign. So all we got to do now, so I'll just say dot head here, is we're going to say SSQD of Apple is just equal to, or the sum of square deviations is just equal to the square deviations of Apple. SSQD. There we go. We have the numerator in our variance function. Now all we have to do is we just need to divide by n minus 1. And n minus 1, if you remember from your statistical courses, is just the degrees of freedom. And that is just the minimum number of ways a system can vary. So we can do this quite easily. All we have to do is we're going to first we're going to call this a variance of Apple. And that is just equal to SSQD of Apple divided by APL dot count n minus one. Should get the variance of Apple. And there we go, we had the variance of Apple. And of course, there's always an easier, easier way to do this in Python. And what we can do is we can just take our Apple data series and just apply the dot variance function like so. And we should get the same value and we do get the same exact value. So that is variance in a nutshell. If you like this video, please subscribe. In our next series, we're going to talk about standard deviation and volatility and how it relates to variance.